What is going on guys? It's Morgan. We are back in Grounded. I've got something a little different just to start off this episode. Uh, this was done completely off camera. I had to run very, very quickly and go and get my game capture. Basically, I was just doing a bit of off-screen stuff, getting a few resources and stuff together, and I heard this wolf spider below the base. So I went and had a look at it, and it seemed to be stuck down there and I thought well you know what I've, I've got some arrows I've got a bow I thought I'd give it a bit of a go so I quickly crafted uh, a whole bunch of arrows and thought let's see if I can take it on uh, I quickly recorded it just in case we happened to kill it and well it happened guys it happened we did manage to actually kill the wolf spider um, I put it in fast forward <laughs> because this took so long to do this took in total 50 arrows to kill this wolf spider so i'm hoping we can find a better weapon soon that will be able to kill it a little bit quicker um but we did manage to now get the spider fangs from killing this thing um so we were able to craft some new weapons and stuff i just thought i'd start off the video with this one in case people were interested on how many arrows it actually takes to kill this thing but i'm looking forward we'll get into the episode properly guys see you in a sec here we are then guys, we're back to live, Morgan. <laughs> um, yeah, if you saw the last episode guide, you've seen what we've done with the uh, with the house. The house is looking awfully nice. We've uh, got a little campfire over it to cook in, sort of look like a little bit of a chimney. We've got some lights, we started building uh, some chairs, which are not complete. You can't sit down on the chairs, which is a bit of a shame, that would have been quite cool. So I've set it up by the window so you could sort of look out, have a nice view. Uh, we got a couple of other things to like, look at in the house quickly. Uh, so we've built this little mushroom farm, which is pretty good, so you can... Uh, you can gather food, it, it produces more mushrooms pretty quickly, so I'm just sort of slowly creating a a chest of mushrooms over here, so if we need any, any food at any point, it's super, super useful. Uh, that's pretty good to be fair, you don't have to put anything to it, it just grows mushrooms. Uh, I moved the log stacks and stuff over here, so we can grab more materials if we need. Uh, I made this little area, as a little uh, little playground area, we got a, got a basketball hoops. Boosh! Slam dunk. <laughs> uh, and then we got this. We built the uh, the spider's web thing. So this is the only thing I could see you can make with rubber. Uh, we had a couple of rubbers that we I just didn't know what to do with. But you use the rubber to make the uh, the spider's web trampoline thing, which is pretty cool. You can get a good uh, good bounce. Here we go. Look at this. <laughs> Bouncy. Uh, the only problem is that I've noticed that if you bounce and just go off it slightly. You take it damage. <laughs> it bounces you too high to not take damage. Um, but I thought it'd be pretty cool if we get uh, if we get some sort of glider. You can bounce on it and you can bounce quite far down. Uh, but yeah, guys, what you oh there we go. <laughs> uh, what you will see, guys, at the start of the video. Uh, this was all done off uh, off camera. It was me uh, defeating the uh, the wolf spider, which uh, got sort of stuck just below our base. Uh, that took a long, long time. Um, I did that off camera, I very quickly had to grab my game catcher and start recording before I started, just in case I managed to kill it, but I did manage to kill it. Uh, so we've now got the spider fangs. So first thing I want to do before we begin our adventure today is definitely make the spider fang blade. So we're going to get all the stuff we need for it. Uh, I've forgotten what else we need for it. Let's go over to work, work, which, workbench tools, there we go. And uh, see what else we need for these spider fangs. We need four venom. Four spider fang and three web. And it says I have none of these because I've done it the wrong way around. <laughs> uh, so take all these. What did I say? Four web. Oh, let's take five just in case. And the blade. Whoop. Apparently you can color code these, which I did not know. Uh, not really sure how I did that, but there we go. Right, let's build the spider fang blade and see. Uh, there we go. You discovered the spider fang blade. Where is this to? So this, I'm not sure what you can do with this. I think it's just a weapon. Um... But if it can be used to chop stuff or do other stuff, that would be pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what it takes to repair this if it's broken. Oh, we can't look at it until it's uh, a little damaged. Um, but yeah, there it is. A level 2 weapon. Oh, we got some speedy attacks. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know what to do for today, guys. Uh, we're probably just going to go do some uh, some exploration. Uh, I've just downloaded a big, big update for this game. It's about a 4 gig update. Um, which is pretty big in terms of games like this. You know, the, the game itself is only about 15 gigs, so it's sort of an extra third added on. Um, I did find a little beacon up here, which I did off camera, which is a shame, it was just before I started recording. Um, so these are the sort of beacons we have to find for the um, for the quests. I've got the uh, the things turned off currently in the uh, in the top left to follow uh, all the sort of quests that Burgle's given us. Um, but I sort of came up here to see if I could find any of the gnats. And yeah, so you have these uh, these markers, they look like sort of little radar dishes. So basically those are the things we have to go rebuild. In fact, I'll... Uh, let me turn them back on super quick. So there we go. Pin quest. So we can pin them back on like that. So they appear in the top left now. So we've got to go find Plank, Clift, and 
gnats. We need to kill one more gnat. So uh, before we go, I'm going to go uh, quickly see Burgle. Whoop, don't fall down there. Um, just in case he's got any more interesting quests for us. We'd be quite happy to have some of the uh, some of the easier quests where it's like kill a certain number of creatures. They're a lot easier than finding some of these waypoints. I don't really know where they are. It doesn't give you like an indication other than just the name of what it is. Um, I do have one mark that I found there with the little flag symbol on it. I put down a little beacon next to it so we can go and uh, go and find that one. But it is guarded by a... I, I don't even know what the bug is. It sort of shoots balls of acid at you. Uh, I don't really want to mess with him too much. <laughs> he's pretty vile. Uh, let's get in to see Burgle and let's see if he's got any more quests for us. Thing with it. Nope, nothing to analyze there. Not to worry. Oh, Didn't we already collect this? Do these just respawn? Well, I mean, we'll take an extra 500, absolutely. That was interesting. I wonder if they've all respawned. Is that a glitch or is that meant to happen? Yeah, this one's respawned too. Right, well, hey, let's keep it going. We'll take all the party hats. <laughs> let's make the most of this. Burgle, what have you got for me? I've just gained 600 raw science. It's looking pretty good. Uh, what have you got job-wise for me, Burgle? Uh, Hunter, kill some ladybirds. Oh, right. I haven't taken on a ladybird yet. I don't know how difficult they are. Um... But we'll take it, and we'll see what we can do with it. Uh, oh, that uh, takes you completely out of the chat. Uh, what have we got raw science-wise? Burgle? Uh, right, I've nearly got enough for the torch upgrade. Uh, not particularly necessary, maybe. Um, it extends the torch life for a, for a long period of time. Uh, I haven't spent a lot of time in caves. Maybe that's something we'll look at today. Maybe that'll become far more useful to have. Uh, I find it quite easy to just build multiple torches. But the fortified base is something that could be interesting. They've got some sturdy walls, um, palisade gates, windowed sturdy walls, palisades. So that could be interesting. Build a bit of an outer layer. That could be maybe be useful to build like a secondary small base somewhere. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll we'll get into that. 5,000 is a lot. That might take us a long time to get to. Um, so, well, what do we want to do, guys? Maybe we'll have a look for some uh, some ladybugs. There's quite a few ladybugs. Of course, I'm from Britain. In Britain, we call them ladybirds, uh, which doesn't really make a lot of sense because they aren't a bird. They are actually a, a bug. Ladybug actually probably sounds uh, <laughs> probably a little bit more correct. There's a spider. Let's run away from you. I killed his friend, and he's probably going to be angry. Right. Let's go over here. Normally, there's ladybirds sort of wandering around. Is that the wolf spider? So I think that's the same wolf spider that we killed. I think they do, unfortunately, respawn. It might be nice if when you killed them, they actually disappeared for quite a while, just to uh, reduce the uh, the stress level. There's a golden orb spider as well. All right, I can see no ladybirds. What I think we'll do, guys, is we'll head over to that flag that I've marked already for us. Um, oh, in fact, let's quickly just check if this actually chops wood at all. I don't know. <gasps> it does! <gasps> this is a game changer. So this thing can chop the wood. Wow. And... At speed. Looks like it doesn't do a great deal of uh, of damage, but we can now chop down these things for extra wood. That is nice. Uh, right. So turns out, guys, in order to get the uh, the level two axe, what you need is that spider fang dagger, and you can uh, use it to chop. That did use a lot of the uh, the durability up here. I think we will take that for free, nice and easy. Um, yeah, the durability there has gone down by like I don't know, maybe a fifth. Which uh, isn't the best. We'll chop them down there for now, and we'll uh, we'll keep running. So maybe this isn't the best one to use. Uh, let's see what it takes to repair. That might be interesting. Um, where are we to there? So it needs three quartzite to repair. So quartzite isn't the easiest thing to find. It's normally in the underground caves. I've got a little bit of it from right at the start of the game. Oh, we got a uh, we got a fight going on. Now these are the fights I enjoy watching because. Either way, we're going to get some good parts here. We can either get some spider parts or some stink beetle parts. Oh, the stink bug died. There we are, just as I loaded up the menu. So, stink bugs lose to orb weaver spiders. We have learned this now. Uh, do I have any arrows? I do have arrows. I wonder how much health this thing has left. Did he just eat that bug then? Can I quickly snipe this? Do we reckon? How much health do we reckon this thing has? Full health. Full health is what that thing has. Let's absolutely not have bothered doing this. Spy hit uh, on the loose. Yep, he's uh, still coming for me. But hopefully we've, uh, because we damaged him that little bit. Oh, and he's given us the arrow back. We'll take the uh, the arrow there. Hopefully because he uh, was messing about with us. Hopefully that bug hasn't despawned. 
Oh no, did he eat the bug? Any bug bits? That's annoying. I would like to have uh, taken some of those bits. What's that? Oh no, stink. Right, okay, hang on. We can still pick up some bits. The gas sack. I think we should be able to get something else from it. What else did we get from it? I think it was like a head. Oh, there, there, there it is. Right, I can see the little bag. Right, so yeah, if you let creatures fight each other. There we go. So, stink bug part and stink bug part. Right, that's fine. We'll take all of those bits. I can't see any more. So this is the uh, this is the flag coming up here. There's a mic to see how much damage this does. So it doesn't necessarily do a lot more damage, but one thing that it does do is just speedily kill these things. Um, so here is the flag. I'm going to keep an eye out because I know a bug lives around here. Who isn't here? Right. Let's see if we can make the most of this. So we need two plant fiber and one leaf. And I think there's also a secret passage down there. Two plant fibre and a clover leaf. Give me plant fibre. <laughs> Where is the plant fibre? There we go. Right. Plant fibre and one clover leaf. Oh no, where's a clover going to be? Right, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to quickly... He says, as of course I said I didn't need the hammer. Of course, now I need the hammer. Where is the hammer? Right, let's swap the hammer out for a second. I want to see if I can destroy the uh, the acorns here and see if it leads to anything interesting. Well, it was going to, and then I couldn't get down there. Right, let's just go up here and drop something off. Can't take any more acorn bites. Right. What's down here, guys? We found something interesting. Okay. Interesting. A new field station, right? We'll take this. It's another 500. Well, I mean, that takes us to the uh, the big torch. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, we've got some granola bars. Another log. We'll listen to the log. Particle irregularities may appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Burgle. We'll take the Please granola bars real quick. Oh, so that's how Raw Science got its name. Oh no, there's the bug, there's the bug. No, no, no. I don't want to fight that bug. Right. So we just need one clover leaf. To, uh, to complete that waypoint. Uh, let's see what's down here quickly. Is that... Water? <laughs> this must be the only torch that works under water. Okay. We found... Found... Some... Computers and chairs and stuff, but nothing of... Oh no! No, 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 no! I just realised my O2 bar! Oh, we just got some air! <laughs> okay, so there's uh, there's been obviously been like another little office down there that's been uh, washed away. Let's check what's out this way. Oh, quartzite! Right, we will, uh, we will take some quartzite. Because, in fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this off real quick. I know we're not going to be able to see anything. Well, he says, actually, until I can open that. Just because if a torch goes out down here, we will be stuck in the dark, and I will not be able to find my way back out. Oh, no, what's this? What's going on? Why have I got ants after me? I thought ants were my friends. Okay, I'm just going to run really far away here and hope they don't, uh, they don't keep chasing me. Oh, no, it's not an ant. It's a larvae. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't, I can't see anything. I'm in a lot of trouble here. Okay. Oh no, I do not want to die down here. Okay, I'm going to run into the water here. And we'll, uh... And hope he doesn't chase me into the water. Okay. Right, he left me alone. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what we found down here, guys, but I, I don't think I want to be a part of it anymore.
Okay, I'm really hoping he's not lingering by the doorway. I don't know what we got caught on there. I think we got caught on a rock. Um, oh, my health is low. I do not want to die down here. If I die down here, I do not know how I'm going to get my, uh, my bag back very easily with that bug on the outside and all of my good stuff down here. Let's very slowly approach up here. I am going to take the quartzite just because I need it to repair stuff. In fact, let's get the... Uh, nope. Let's get the dagger out. Nope. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay, he's still coming for me. Okay, he really went for me then. Okay. I'm not picky. Oh no, so I can either have the bow. Oh my right, I need to I need to get away. I need for him to uh, leave me alone. I need to try and work out I'm gonna get out of this not good place to go right now. Uh, right, there is literally nothing down here that can help me, which is annoying. Hopefully he doesn't just sit on the edge. Okay. Let's get my spider fang dagger rack out. Right, so that seems like a bad way to go. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god, there's actually like five of them. Okay, I regret all of this decision. <laughs> okay. He's going to come for me. I'm going to see if I can do this little uh, little glitch around the wall here. Okay, he just came straight through. Okay, we're not fighting him. Plus our torch is about to run out. Maybe we do need that torch upgrade. Who knew? <laughs> Maybe right now we need that torch upgrade. So... I've also now got to try and now run past this bug because I'm pretty sure he's back in his uh, he's back in his little hole. Yep, there he is. Right, I'm gonna go this way. Nope, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. There's <laughs> so much stuff that wants to kill me. Dry grass, rocks. I mean, I feel like we found every resource here that isn't <laughs> clovers. Um, Clovers, right, here we go, right, let's get some clovers together. Okay, hang on. So here's, here's my plan. If I make a bed, <laughs> I can use this and sleep through the night. We'll get back into the daytime so I don't need to worry about my torches anymore. And I can gather some clovers here. This thing is not very durable, this uh, spider dagger. Uh, I'll take some more, just in case. So, we'll take you. So we've now got enough to finish that flag, wherever the flag is. Um, and we can make another bed in case we happen to get into the night time again. Somewhere? No? Yep. <laughs> there he is. Okay, so I think my plan here is shoot him with an arrow, uh, food. Uh, also eat an acorn, shoot him with an arrow, let him come up this way, and then run all the way around in a big circle and very quickly build that thing. Bang, there we go. He's going to come... Uh, have a chat with us, probably. Unless he's stuck there. <laughs> Which is my favourite type of beetle. Is one that's stuck in a wall. Let's keep it going. <laughs> this could be it, guys. We could take on the big beetle here. That's a uh, quick water break. Oh, nope, don't you dare throw it at him. <laughs> Back to my bow. The bow doesn't have a great deal of uh, usage left. I'm hoping it will last for the uh, remainder of this. I should have enough arrows. I've had enough arrows to kill the big spider at the start of the episode. I should have enough to kill a bombardier beetle. Let's keep going. He is low right now. I've got to be very careful in case he decides to run away. I'm going to go back to full stamina and take all the shots here. Look how many arrows this takes. My bow is now damaged, but I think we're going to get him. One more. Boom! 
Bombardier Beetle down. Yeah, he is. There we go. We got some Bombardier parts. Is that all we got for it? <laughs> look how many arrows that took. I'll have to uh, look in the uh, look in the edit how many arrows that actually took to kill. <laughs> Let's uh, regather all these arrows. So so far the bow has been very useful. Uh, I can't believe that's all we got from him. Let's uh, build that. We've now got a custom marker here. I am wondering if my stupid bag is full. And that's why I only got certain things. What do I need to repair this? Two woven fibre. I don't have that. Let me very quickly drop that. I'm just going to check in case there's something else that he dropped that we didn't pick up because the bag was full. Right, guys. I've had a quick look around here. I can't find anything else. I'm really hoping he doesn't drop something else and because our bag was full... We weren't able to pick it up. I have done a big scan for any of the uh, the sort of little bags that they leave sometimes when they die. Uh, in case there was something else for us to pick up. Uh, we'll very quickly uh, mend the bow. Because I want my bow at full health. I'm really hoping. So again, so the problem was here. That there's a custom marker that we rebuilt. However, it wasn't part of our challenge. I thought this could be plank cliff. But there's no way to know which marker is which. Um... Like if we go on the map here, that says trail markers flag. It doesn't let us know which one it actually is. Um, so I don't know how you know where your, uh, which one is your task to uh, to do because they have no names. Well, I've got someone chasing me, but I'm going to guess it's just going to be one of those little red bugs again. Uh, so what we'll do, guys, we'll keep going down to uh, some other stuff that I found down here. Uh, so as you can see, I put it on the little diamond marker. Uh, I thought this was pretty cool when I was off camera. Um, I'll take a I'll take a wander down, and I'll uh, I'll cut to when uh, we're a little bit closer, so you don't have to see me travelling there. See you in a minute. All right, guys, here we are. So we're by uh, a big bird bath table thing here. Uh, it's just next to a sprinkler. We're right down at the bottom of the map here. This is about as far down as you can go, really. Um, so this was uh, oh, that was the big can. So around here somewhere we have uh, this big bird bath, and I did notice if you go up here, you can see right above the bird bath there's uh, there's berries, um, which I don't think we can hit with an arrow. Yes, yeah, so that doesn't seem to actually hit them. I think I've just lost those three arrows, haven't I? Um, so there's no you can't get those berries, but the berry that I have found, which we're able to get. Uh, is over here. It's connected to this branch. Uh, I have 85 arrows. I didn't know I had that many. So this is uh, this is another berry that I found. So this is the berry I've been collecting any time I've come down here. Uh, so this is what you use to get the berry hide and stuff. But it is a little. Uh, oh nope, didn't work very well. Right, let me get the uh, let me get the axe. And it's really weird. You have to basically be able to get the berry back out of the water. Oh, the stupid thing. You know what? I'm just going to shoot it down. I don't know if this works. Hopefully it does. Yes, it does. Okay, great. So you shoot the uh, you shoot the berry down. Oh, can I pick up my arrow again? That would be useful. Um, so, yeah, but the problem is that you've got to be able to get it out of the water um, in order to actually chop it up. I don't know if we can do it with a spider fang. So if you attempt to chop it, you literally um, it just doesn't let you. You have to actually be able to get out of the water. And the physics are a little bit broken with it. It does not like rolling, considering it's a ball um, shape. It does not like going anywhere you've wanted it to. So I've managed to find, basically, if you get it to sort of go down this channel down here, uh, there's a little bit of wood at the far end. And if you can get it to uh, press up against it, just enough of it shows <laughs> out, of the, uh, out of the back here, like this. There we go. To... Uh, be able to get to it. There we go. There we go. Berry chunks. So we got three berry chunks for that. Um, and that's how. That's the only berry I've managed to find in the whole game. Uh, which is kind of ridiculous. So what do we do with the granola bars? Uh, used to restore a large amount of hunger. There you are. That's what they're used for. Is on the left here. We have a whole other bunker, which looks interesting. Uh, you can't get in. It's locked. You can press X to say it's locked. 
I don't know if these are like keys or something in order to get in. Not really sure what this is. I have had a little look around the uh, around the side to see if we can find, you know, a door or maybe a little gap that allows us to uh, to get in. I haven't been able to find anything. Uh, there was, uh, oh, hello, Mr. Aphid. Um, there was a uh, some party hats, uh, some raw science up on the ledge around this corner, which, as you can see, oh, in fact, it's respawned. I mean, we will jump up there together, as you can see from my lovely design that I have here. Of uh, <laughs> I built some uh, some walls that allow me to climb up here using my big brain uh, <laughs> in order to get up here. There we go. And then you jump on this wall, like so, and you jump on here, there we go. Boom, another hundred party hats, nice and easy. Um, so you can get on this wall, um, but I've not been able to find anywhere where there's a door, per se. The webs are a little bit broken in this game still, guys. If you um, if you jump into a web and then break it while you're in it, it still believes you're in a web and holds you there. Um, so I don't really want to jump up into the web. There we go, right, we got rid of that. Let's see if we can build a wall now. Let's go to the uh, the quick menu for now. No, interesting. So you can't build on here. Um, I wonder if we could build a scaffolding. No, so it doesn't believe this is like real floor. So I take it there's no way to get up there. Uh, which is a shame. It doesn't seem to be anything up there. I thought maybe there'd be like a, a hatch over the top. Or something which hasn't worked. Um, I'll go pick up that beacon, and we'll uh, we'll move on to see uh, what other interesting stuff we've got on going on down here. Right, guys, I've just come up here to uh, come and collect my beacons. So this is a, a little area. It's just outside. It's right down the bottom of the map. It's almost like off the map in this little uh, dark area down here. Uh, this is a weird little area. There's just loads of like rocks and uh, little bits of grass and stuff. This is like resource heaven for the very little things. I don't really know why this is all here. I'm guessing this is still an area they're working on. But I came over here to get my uh, get my beacon. And as I came up here, I actually noticed over to the right here, there seems to be a little gap in the wall. And I thought, oh, maybe that's the door to, uh, to sneak in through there. So I've just come down here and uh, I just walk in and look at this. There's just a field of ant heads and body parts and things. Um, <laughs> in fact, you can take all these body parts. I might... Uh, oh, I'm getting stuck in them. This is weird. Um, oh, what's over here? Oh, we've got a... A skeleton? Oh, someone had a bad day. And a... A rotten ant club. Oh, okay. It's getting weirder. Oh, we've got some... Spider skeleton art going on here. Here we are, guys. I'll lift the brightness... So we can uh, have a look in here a little bit better. But, uh, yeah. What a weird little place. So this is obviously... Uh, oh, we got a little camp. we got a little camp back here. What's going on here? What are you? It's just a rock. Got a little camp. And ten ant heads. Oh, my goodness. Right. We need to uh, we need to do some stuff here. I've got... I need to make room for some of this stuff. There's some good loot in here. This is interesting. Uh, I have a lot of stuff. Oh, I've got explosive gland. Boiling gland. I've got another thing. What's happening, guys? <laughs> this has gone away from me real quick. So that's something else we've got from the bug that wasn't there before. We sort of made room. I've picked that up somewhere along the way. Uh, what do we not need? We don't need a load of sprigs. Yeah, so we've got, uh, we've got a bag with some heads. So we'll, uh, we'll take all the heads because they're quite useful. Uh, oh, we took the whole bag. Okay. Um, so this obviously was like someone else who got shrunk down with us and created <laughs> just a, a world of pain over here for some ants. Uh, we'll take a, a rotten ant club. A rotten ant club found in a mysterious bleak cave. Its slimy texture and offensive odour suggests it's been here for quite some time. So this is a level 2 club. In fact, do we not have this as a... Can you not make one of these? An insect axe. What's going on? Oh, it's because we got the new part. Oh, so this is a level 2 axe. Ah, so this isn't the standard axe. This is just like a weapon. This is the actual level 2 axe. It takes three leg parts to make it. Four spider silk, we've got that. And a ladybug head. Right, well, luckily we've got a challenge to go kill some ladybugs. So we might have to do that. Um, the insect hammer, we've now got enough parts to make, which is a level 2 hammer. We're getting there, guys. Ant club, there we go. So 
What happens is we've got an ant club, meaty ant leg. So that takes a lot of ant parts. So it does like half damage, full stun, and like a third speed. And what does ours do that we just picked up? <laughs> Nowhere near all of them. Unanalyzed though, so we can analyze it for something. Interesting. Uh, I need to pick up lots of these ant parts, uh, so I need to drop something. Um, oh, I didn't realize I'm like dying. I, I've not got any water. Why did this not tell me? Oh, no. Uh, right, I need to go and get water really quickly because I'm dying. Uh, let's go. Uh, I'll, I'll come back in a second, guys, after I've uh, quenched my thirst, apparently, that snuck up on me. Right, guys, so I got some food, got some water, and found a ladybug. Uh, if you don't want to watch a ladybug die, look away now. Boom! <laughs> Ladybug down! Right, so that's one of three. That's one of our three challenges. Uh, I just saw him wandering around here. He tried to uh, attack us after I shot him with the first arrow. I didn't know if they did or not. Uh, we'll pick up all of our arrows. <laughs> Look how many arrows that took! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> These guys are defensively solid. Let's pick up a ladybug. Ladybug parts, ladybug shells. Oh, I still don't have room in my inventory for stuff. Uh, right, we'll take a ladybug head, because that's absolutely what we need for, uh... Ah, the axe! There was the axe! Right, yeah, we need we need that for the axe. Okay, we'll keep that. So, I've, I've filled up my inventory again, though, hasn't I? That was the whole idea of me going out here, was to, <laughs> to, to make room. So there we are, guys. There's our first ladybug dead, so we've got one of three. Uh, let's go back over to the, uh... The sort of ant death cave? I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, we'll go back over there, and uh, we'll collect all our ant parts up. Uh, now we know we're not dying. Uh, we've got a good amount of water. We've got a good amount of food. We've still got the bars if we begin to starve, which will be fine. Uh, I might stock up on water just before we go. Uh, the big sprinkler over there does make a couple of drops of water um, by the sides, which uh, is how I sort of got saved there because I was definitely going to die. My health is not the highest currently. Uh, let's go back up here and go to the ant death cave. Right, guys, we're back in the uh, the ant cave. We'll pick up all the uh, all the ant legs and stuff that we've got uh, going on here, because these can be useful for quite a lot of different things. Uh, any more around here? Can't see any. Um, I have turned the uh, the brightness like all the way up. Uh, oh, I'm stuck on something here. Ant part. Uh, just so hopefully you guys can see this a little bit better. Uh, we did run out of our torch, uh, and we don't have uh, sap anywhere near that I seem to be able to find for. Uh, Building another torch, so unfortunately this is what we have been left with. Um, so we'll say goodbye to whatever the hell this room is, and we'll uh, we'll move on. Uh, <laughs> back out we go. Right, guys, we've got a couple more things now that we can uh, we can start to build. We've got some armor and stuff from the uh, from the ladybug head. We can build the level two axe. We can. We've got a whole bunch of ant parts. We've got explosive glands. So let's uh, let's go back to the base, and uh, we'll work out uh, what we can build, what we can do new. And uh, there'll be some interesting stuff. That's interesting. I don't think this was a thing before to see. I can't see it now. The, uh, oh, that's the ammo. That my watch, I don't think my watch used to light up. Oh, that's just fired that somewhere. Where's that gone? <laughs> Shot that arrow. I don't remember my uh, my watch lighting up before, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I can select something that would allow me to actually hold my wrist up. I don't think I can. Um, that's quite nice. So yeah, th I don't know what they've added in the 4 gig update. I, I hadn't got to see enough of the game really to notice uh, an enormous difference. I haven't seen any new bosses or anything. I do think it'd be cool if they added fish into the ponds or like frogs or something uh, that, that could attack you. I think that would be fun. That'd be a totally different enemy, you know, an enemy with range, you know, to have a tongue firing out at you I think would be pretty cool. Um, or like I said, all the, uh, all the fish in the ponds or something that could... Uh, they could eat you if you didn't uh, didn't get out the pond quickly enough. But yeah, I definitely think they've got some cool things. Um, I've heard people talking about, um, like, bee armor. So they're probably going to add some bees or something in uh, fairly soon. There's some larvae over there. I don't want to mess with them. There's a welcoming sight, guys. That's what we want to see. A bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, so I added this here. I added this little light on the outside because along this log here... There's this little bit that jetties out, and sometimes you can hit it and fall off the side, so I just know that if I get to this light, I just need to jump, and I'll never fall off of that again. But here's our house. All of our lights seem to have turned off. That's quite annoying that they, uh... Is that on? That's interesting. 
Oh, they're really dull. Uh, if you saw in the, uh, the thumbnail of the last video, it, they had a really nice glow, green glow to them. Uh, that seems to have uh, no longer be happening. I don't know if that's because of the update. They've done it so it's now just like a, a little uh, little luminescent glow rather than a nice green glow. I quite liked it when it was a green glow. I thought it looked really nice on the leaves. That's a shame. Uh, well, right, guys, we're back in the base. Uh, let's put everything in the chest that we don't need. So something I would definitely like, guys, is a, a bigger starting backpack. I don't know if that is a thing in the game yet, or if that's something they're going to add in in later updates and stuff. Uh, but as you can see, currently I've got, you know, all the standard tools I need for things. I mean, I've got two axes. I can get rid of one of my axes, at least. Um, you know, but the armor that you have to equip, but for some reason still stays in your inventory. Um... And then, you know, you need about this many arrows, you know, about 80 to 90 arrows. You need that just to kill anything in this game. Um, so, you know, I've taken up at least like two thirds of my box with just stuff you need generally to go around in the world. So I really hope they introduce a bigger backpack that will allow you to actually have more storage um, for stuff. Because at the minute, I do feel like you uh, you sort of load out really quickly when you're on a, on a walk here. Uh, like this, this is everything we need. We'll move that all over there. I mean, we don't need the bars. And I'll move those plant things back in. And then once we've got rid of the plant things, you can see just how much of this bag is full. Uh, which is a shame, really. Um, there you go. So there's only 12 slots to pick anything else up. Which is a little annoying if you're doing a big trek like we just done today. Um, you know, that took a long time to get around and we had to throw away loads of useful resources because our bag isn't big enough. I don't know if that's something you can get yet, uh, but I hopefully we can get that soon enough so let's see what we can make so we need four ant parts oh two ant mandibles oh no i don't know if i have ant mandibles yes i do so we need two ant mandibles one two three four of you and then we need two woven fiber which should be in this one one two so we can make the ant club there we go so we now have a meaty club um Let's do the level 2 hammer. So we need boiling gland 1, which we only have... Oh no, this is an explosive gland. Oh, <laughs> it's called an explosive gland in the menu, but it's called boiling gland in the top bit there. Uh, that's obviously a little uh, thing they just need to fix. Um, what else do we need? I forgot now because I was looking at that. Um, four berry leather and four stink bug parts. So we need one, two, three, four. Uh, we need more berry leather. I've forgotten what makes berry leather. Oh no, it takes three be berry chunks to make leather. Oh no, I'm not going to have enough. Do I have any other berry leather? No, oh, I only have three. Oh, that's annoying. Right, so we can't make that one just yet. Um, I haven't put any of it into there either, so I can't even just destroy this chair. That's annoying. So we can't do the... Uh, that yet, so let's put that back for now. Right, what I'm going to do, guys, very quickly uh, before we carry on, is I'm just going to go and get all the uh, all the new sort of stuff we had, and I'm going to uh, take it down to the uh, the analyzer. So yeah, guys, just before we carry on building everything, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly analyze all the stuff just in case there's anything else we can make on top of it all. Um, so, oh, we got everything needs to be uh, analyzed. So let's analyze the legs. Let's see what the legs make for us. Stuffed, oh, so we can stuff the thing. And jerky rack, interesting. So we can make some sort of jerky. So that is probably going to uh, take longer to cook, but probably gives you a more, like, food back from it. Uh, the explosive glands we want to analyze. We've only got one, so it's probably worth analyzing really quick. Uh... A bombardier head mount and stuff bombardier. So nothing particularly interesting there. Uh, let's do the one head before we use that. Uh, ladybug head mount and the insect axe already known. So we uh, we got two things left to analyse, guys. What I'm going to do, it's only like 20 minutes in-game. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang around here for an in-game 20 minutes, <laughs> which is like two minutes in real life, and uh, we'll analyse the other stuff uh, in a second. Right, guys. So it's just gone past the uh, the time now. So we'll uh, we'll quickly analyze these two things, and we'll see. Uh, oh, it only charges at one. <laughs> I thought it recharged all three. Uh, nothing. Superb. That was a, a big waste. I didn't realize it happened uh, that quickly. Um, 
I will go to the other analyzer and see if I can do the last one. Oh, right, we found another ladybug, so I want to try and take advantage of this, if possible. Hey there, buddy. Where is he going to not be able to attack me from? Right, let's get up here. Where's he gone? No, ladybug. <laughs> ladybug, come back. Oh, no. Right, this is going to be a bit of a range shot here. Okay, we got him. He's probably mad. I feel this is cheating a little bit. <laughs> but we'll uh, we'll take full advantage of it. They do take an awful lot of arrows. I didn't look at how many arrows we actually had to start off with. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where we uh, where we end up. Oh, I've got a clover in my face here. This is good. I'll just move out the uh, out the way of the clover. Let's keep going. Okay, we're on the final stink, guys. I've got all of my uh, food and water things buzzing in my ear saying <laughs> I'm hungry, I'm thirsty. I don't think at any point in your life you would ever be thirsty enough to think this thing's trying to murder me. I probably should have a drink to uh, to stop. Oh no, I'd run out of stamina just at the wrong time. Boom, next ladybug dead. Right, let's have a quick glug of water. I don't have water to glug. Oh, this is, this is terrible. Uh, right, let's quickly uh, collect everything that I can. I need to collect all my arrows and stuff. Did I collect the ladybird then? Yes, I did. Did I? I didn't look like it, uh, it gave me anything then. Did I already use the ladybird head? I don't think I did. Did I just not get a head from that one, did I? No oh, bird. right. On the plus side, guys, it's taken so long for me to be able to find any water in, the, in this game. <laughs> that it's probably now gone past the time that I can just go back to uh, Burgle and uh, analyse this final thing. That took so long. I had to go basically all the way around the tree. There was just no water spawning in any of the places there should be. Uh, I have also noticed just beyond here there is some more uh, some more raw science underneath a spider, which means I get to uh, question whether I fancy uh, going for that or not. I'll probably leave it just for a little bit. Uh, because uh, that seems a little dangerous for now, but let's uh, let's analyze this last thing here. Let's do the shell. Hopefully, it gives us something good after uh, all the effort this has taken. Uh, a ladybug chest plate, right? So we got a ladybug armor basically in total now. Uh, what we will do while we're at Burgle here uh, is we'll trade some of this raw science, and we'll uh, we'll buy this torch upgrade while we're here. Um, so we've now got a torch plus, uh, and hopefully that'll be useful for when we uh, get into some of the darker zones. Hopefully the ladybug armor is really good, is all I'm going to hope for. Um, maybe it allows us to get into some of those more dangerous places, or maybe if you are covered in ladybird armor, maybe the lava don't attack you or something. That would be nice. Um, that way I could get underground a little bit more and, uh, and investigate. Um, so we see if we've got any other tools left to uh, left to build, guys, and uh, and we'll call it a day there. Right, guys. So we analysed uh, pretty much everything there. So the last thing we're going to do quickly is just build this uh, this axe. So it needs four web, one, two, three, four, and it needed uh, three of the legs, didn't it? It was all of our legs. There we go. Then we might as well use all the legs to build something cool. Boom! There's the insect axe. Let's uh, let's check that bad boy on. So, we do have a couple of things now that can, uh, insect club, other insect club, insect axe, there we go. So we do now have a couple of things that can, um, chop down level 2 stuff. There it is, looking, woo, looking dangerous. <laughs> so what I'll do is I can now actually drop some of my, uh, some of my axes in here that I'll no longer need, which will be nice, that'll free up two more storage slots, because this level 2 thing will do something. Uh, we'll hang on to the, uh, the spider thing for now. Uh, it has been quite useful. Uh, the Rotten Ant Club we can put back. We don't need that. Um, and then we've got the big meaty club thing for uh, doing some damage to stuff. Um, so uh, I'll get some more uh, berry leather. Uh, and then hopefully in the next episode we can build the uh, the final thing. Get the level 2 hammer. And we can see what we can break with the level 2 uh, hammer. Because I'm not really sure what that even breaks. I don't think I've seen anything that takes a level 2 hammer. But that'd be interesting to find out. Uh, we're going to call it here for today, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you leave it a like. We've done a whole bunch of exploration today. We've built some beacons. We found an ant graveyard. We found a dead 
miniature person like us. It's been a bit crazy today. Uh, and make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. Keep up to date with all the content. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot more grounded stuff. Uh, we're also doing a good uh, Let's Play series through with Destroy Humans, which has been a lot of fun, which I'm looking forward to going back and doing some videos on. I'll see you all next time, guys. Bye-bye.